Today we're going to be looking at how to convert mixed fractions into decimals. As we can see here, we're being asked to convert the mixed fraction of 4 and 3 fifths into a decimal. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to break apart this mixed fraction into its two parts. So the two parts of our mixed fraction here is our whole number of 4 and then the fractional part of our mixed fraction which is our 3 fifths. So we can imagine this as 4 plus 3 fifths. Now, when we convert this mixed fraction into a decimal, the value of our whole number is not going to change. It's still going to be worth 4. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to write our whole number value in our answer because it's not going to change. Now that leaves us with the fractional part of our mixed fraction. And this is where we're going to be converting the fractional part into a decimal. And to do this, as we can see up top highlighted in yellow, we're going to divide the numerator by the denominator. So in this case, we're going to divide our numerator of 3 by our denominator of 5. So obviously here, we can't make a group of 5 out of 3, so we're going to have to go into our decimal places here. So we're going to write a 0 up top, and then we're going to put our decimal places here so that we have some numbers to actually bring down to work through this division problem. So now we're going to be thinking, how many equal groups of 5 can we make out of 30? Well, we know that we can make 6 equal groups of 5 out of 30, so we're going to write our 6 up top, and then we're going to multiply 6 times 5. Well, we know that that gives us 30, so we're going to write our 30, and then we're going to subtract 30 from 30, which is going to leave us with 0. So the fraction of 3 fifths converts into the decimal of 6 tenths. So now in order for us to convert this mixed fraction into a decimal, we're going to rewrite this, but we're going to be thinking, okay, well now we actually have 4 plus 6 tenths, which is going to give us our answer of 4 and 6 tenths. So when we convert 4 and 3 fifths into a decimal, we get the decimal of 4 and 6 tenths. Now we did work through that quickly, so let's go ahead and try another example. All right, so let's jump right into the second example where we have 2 and 1 fourth that we need to convert into a decimal. So the first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to break apart the two different parts of our mixed fraction. So we have our whole number, which has a value of 2, and then we have the fractional part of our mixed fraction, which has a value of 1 fourth. So we can think of it as 2 plus 1 fourth. Just like with the first problem, we'll remember that the value of our whole number is not going to change in our answer. So the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to write our whole number of 2 in our answer because it's not going to change. And now we just need to convert our fractional part of our mixed fraction into a decimal. To do this, as we see highlighted in yellow, we're going to divide the value of our numerator, which in this case is 1, by the value of our denominator, which in this case is 4. So we can't make a group of 4 out of 1, so we're going to have to go into our decimal places here. So we're going to write our 0 up top, and then we're going to include our decimal places here so that we actually have some numbers to bring down. And now we're going to be thinking, okay, how many equal groups of 4 can we make out of 10? Well, we know that we can make 2 equal groups of 4 out of 10, so we're going to write our 2 up top, and then we're going to multiply 2 times 4. Well, we know that that gives us 8, so we're going to write our 8 down below. And then when we subtract 8 from 10, we're left with 2, but then we need to bring something down here because we can't leave a remainder. So we're going to go ahead and just write a 0 there so that we can bring down this digit, which is going to give us 20. So now we're going to be thinking, how many equal groups of 4 can we make out of 20? Well, we know that we can make 5 equal groups of 4 out of 20, so we'll write our 5 up top, and then when we multiply 5 times 4, we get 20, so we're going to write our 20, and then we're going to subtract 20 from 20, which is going to leave us with 0. And now since we don't have any remainder, we're done. So we're going to figure out how to write this mixed fraction as a decimal. So we have our whole number, which has a value of 2. And then we're going to add on the value of our decimal, which in this case is 25 hundredths. So we're going to add 2 plus 25 hundredths, which is going to give us our answer of 2 and 25 hundredths. So hopefully by now you understand how to convert a mixed fraction into a decimal. Help make math less complicated by smashing those like and subscribe buttons. As always, enjoy today's math journey.